During pouring into a sand mold, the mortar metal can be poured into the down sprue at a constant flow rate during the time it takes to fill the mold. At the end of pouring, the sprue is filled and there is a negligible metal in the pouring cup. The down sprue is 6 inches long. Its cross sectional area at the top is equal to 0.8 square inches and at the base a 0.6 inches square inches. The cross sectional area of the runner leading to from leading from the sprue is also 0.6 inches in cross section and it is 8 inches long before leading into the mold cavity whose volume of 60 5 cubic inches. The volume of the riser located along the runner near the mold cavity is equal to 25 cubic inches. It takes a total of 3 seconds to fill the entire mold, including cavity, riser, runner, and screws. This is more than the theoretical time required, indicating a loss of velocity due to the friction in the screw and runner, runner system. Find A. Theoretical velocity and the flow rate at the base of the down sprue. B. The total volume of the mold. C. The actual velocity and flow rate at the base of the sprue. D. The loss of head in the gating system due to the friction. Okay. Let me uh, read the figure. For this figure uh, problem, this is the figure for this problem. Its uh, casting volume is given 65 cubic inches and the riser volume is given 25 cubic inches. Then the runner cross sectional area is given, the sprue height is given 6 inches, sprue uh, pouring cup uh, at the top end cross sectional area is given 0.8 inches square inches. At the bottom of the sprue, the cross sectional area is given 0.6 square inches. The problem A, first part of the problem, asking the theoretical velocity and the flow rate at the base of the down sprue. Okay, uh, we are having the equation to determine this uh, velocity. So what is that equation? V is equal 2gh square root. Okay. This equation uh, to calculate the velocity in a flow system. So then here uh, all the dimensions are given. H G is given 6 inches. G is known. So G is, uh, is equal to 9.81 uh, meters per square second. So we have to convert into a inches because uh, these dimensions are given in inches so that value is equal 386.22 uh, inches per square second okay so then uh, by separating this value the v is equal to g 386.22 uh, the total height of this proof is equal 6 inches square root the velocity at the bottom of the sprue is equal 68.1 inches per second. Inches per second. This is the velocity of the flow. So then again we can calculate the uh, volume flow rate. The Q dot T is equal. Q dot T is equal. The cross sectional area into velocity. So then we can substitute the values. The cross sectional area is equal 0 0.6. The flow velocity is equal 68.1 cubic, uh, sorry, uh, inches per second. Here it is a uh, inches square. So then the Q dot is equal to Q dot is equal to 40.86 cubic inches per second. This is the flow rate uh, at the bottom of the spoon. Okay, let's move to the second part of the problem. The total volume of the mold. Total volume of the mold 
over the dimensions of the cavity areas is uh, is proved and the runner system is given so that we can easily calculate the total volume of the casting including runner system is proved and the riser and the casting so volume is equal here it is uh, 65 cubic inches plus here it is uh, 25 plus uh, runner its length is given 8 inches then the cross section is equal uh, 0 0.6 into 8 with the runner volume plus its uh, screw the screw upper cross sectional area is equal 0 0.8 plus uh, at the bottom it is equal 0 0.6 divided by average value take the length that we are going to multiply with the length that is equal to 6 so then we are getting the volume of the casting as 99 cubic inches 99 cubic inches okay either a b part of the problem okay let's move to the third part of the problem the c problem is asking the actual velocity and the flow rate at the base of this screw actual flow rate actual sorry actual velocity and the flow rate at the base of this screw so let's find the actual velocity uh, yeah uh, first of all let's find the uh, flow rate q dot is equal a into v q dot is equal a into v here what is the q dot okay, uh, q dot is equal a into v again we know a mole a film time is equal total volume divided by q dot here in this problem the mole filling time is given that is equal to 3 second so then the total volume the casting we have calculated 99 cubic inches divided by the flow rate q dot so then uh, by we can find easily find the q dot is equal 33 cubic inches per second 33 cubic inches per second so then we can easily calculate the uh, velocity velocity is equal 33 cubic inches per second we are going to divide it by total cross-sectional area of the runner that is equal 0 0.6 that is equal to 55 inches per second 65 inches per second here this is the actual uh, flow velocity inside this runner this is the theoretical one you can see the actual one is less than the theoretical one because of the flow friction in the runner system okay then we are next we are going to calculate the loss of head due to this flow friction okay the part d let's move to the part d part d the loss of head in the gating system runner system due to the friction flow friction okay the in here to obtain this much of a flow velocity what is the theoretical head required we are going to calculate again we are going to use the v is equal to gh square root so required velocity is equal 55 the 2 is equal to g 386.22 into h here by making uh, by finding this h value that is equal to h is equal to 3.9 one six inches what does it mean theoretically if the head is equal to 3.916 inches 
that means this is true height is equal to 3.916 inches theoretically it should produce 55 inches per second but in here in our case the screw height is 6 inches even in that 6 inches it produces the 55 inches per second velocity so what is the head loss head loss is equal 6 minus 3.916 head loss is equal 6 minus 3.916 that is equal to 2.084 inches that means this much of head is consumed to produce is consumed to produce pressure against the flow friction this is called head loss 